Now let's work with a more global control to work with. Uh, another style that I, method I use. Now you may be thinking, oh, this is common sense, but this is something I thought about, but I don't think very many people have thought about it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, have this be set to the current. And I'm going to go to the dynamics uh, menu. I'm going to go to the fields. Everything here, or virtually everything here, I think, can be select uh, can be affected with the hair. So what that means is this hair system can be affected with these fields. All I gotta do is select the hair system and select what uh, field you want. In this case, I'm just going to use air because I feel have I have a lot of control with uh, air. So I'm just going to turn off the max distance so it affects everything on, at a global scale. And when I push play, you'll notice that the hair is starting to manipulate around the uh, the air system. So if I actually increase the magnitude to 100, it'll just shoot wherever I want. And as you can see, the hair itself is actually moving around the sphere constraint that we have inside this object. Now what this does is it gives us a control to give, a, uh, give us kind of like a general hairstyle on how we want to do things. So if I want to actually have things on a diagonal sort of way, there we go. And like before, if we like how it looks, we can just stop it, select the follicles, and go from current. Update everything, we can go to start position, manipulate the current from there, and all that jazz. So that is really it for, uh, for this uh, section. Uh, next video I'm going to actually start doing examples of how I can do a hair system and how I actually do a hairstyle. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have fun.